Okay, hello everyone. I hope you are uh, fine. Finally, we reached our uh, last lecture, our last topic, um, due to the, yani, the recent decisions of the Ministry of Higher Education that our last lecture would be on April the 13th, uh, the last day of April. So actually, um, um, actually we couldn't finish the whole uh, slides. طبعا انا عارفه ان انتم متضايقين جدا ان احنا مش هنعرف نخلص كل السلايدز اللي عندنا بس خلوني كده حتى قبل ما ابتدي اللكتشر ات واز ا نيو اكسبيرينس طبعا ات واز ا نيو اكسبيرينس فور اول اوف اس ذس از ماي فيرست تايم ان تيتشينج يو اوذو اي ديدنت سي يو لايك اكسبت فور وان مانث ميبي وان مانث بس اكشلي ديورينج ذا لاست مانث اوف اور هنقول ايه انترنت or uh, video our uh, lectures in hell online uh, i am actually um, proud uh, to teach uh, such how uh, a persistent um, creative uh, students مش من الحاجات كتيره اللي احنا بنشوف ان يبقى في طلبه يعني very زي ما نقول ايه they are driven you are Actually, most of you are driven. في ناس كانت تسألني على ال على ال project طب review ده طب إحنا هنعمل التعديلات دي طب ممكن نعمل a meeting يعني تقريبا actually I think most of the groups I I did like a meeting with them and some groups I actually did more than one meeting. So I'm really proud to teach students like you. I hope إن شاء الله بإذن الله السنة الجاية لو هلينا عمر إن شاء الله بإذن الله يعني. Uh, and we have the chance. Uh, I may teach you like uh, one subject or two subjects. Who knows? Most of the time, I just teach international marketing and uh, e-marketing uh, on uh, on your last year, uh, senior year. Uh, but um, anyway, uh, today we are going to finish our uh, last topic, um, and I'm going, يعني, briefly. I'm going to tell you the topic that I'm going to talk about. But before I begin by my topic, uh, I should thank every one of you, every student, for your hard work. Uh, we have received your um, projects, uh, and we are going to, يعني, uh, هنبتدي شغل في التصحيح بتاعها وحنقول لكم حتى يعني هنحاول بقدر الإمكان لو في أي notes أو حاجة هنقولها لكم for your own sake. خلي بالك. إحنا في المرحلة اللي إحنا فيها دلوقتي دي في الدراسة في حاجات أنا يعني بقولها لكم عشان تبقوا عارفينها ويبقى عندكم انتوا علم بيها وتبقوا آه فاهمينها اكشلي اكتر من اكتر من فكره ان انت تبقوا آه ان احنا عشان هنخش الامتحان ولا هنمتحن فيها ولا مش هنمتحن فيها والموضوع ده كله ففي حاجات انا ساعات تلاقوني حتى في وسط الكلاس ساعات بقول لكم حاجات انا عارفه ان هي ميبي ديورنج ذيس تايم اتس نوت ذات امبورتنت بس اكشلي اتس فور يور اون سيك واكشلي بيكوز اي يوجولي سي ذات Uh, when the student is very persistent, is hardworking, he actually is like, um, um, uh, he is driving actually, or he is actually like um, incentive, hafiz, the doctor to give the most uh, he can for uh, such a student. So, uh, uh, thank you for being with me during this year. Uh, I hope Nana, uh, I help you. A little bit concerning uh, our uh, subject. Uh, hope to see you next year, inshallah. Uh, uh, happy Ramadan and uh, happy spring vacation, spring breaks, and all the things that you can do. Inshallah, in the end of the day, you can do it and you can do it and you Okay, so uh, since we ended our uh, thankful and grateful and all of this, uh, let's go to our last topic. Our last topic. Uh, um, during this term, let me share with you the um, this, this, is it, this is it, full screen. Okay, uh, our topic is going to be about uh, the types of research. Uh, actually, uh, unfortunately, we didn't have the time to talk about the different types of research. Actually, during uh, our uh, our subject, like in every year, I begin by the basics. The basics that it should be inside every kind of a market research. Then after that, we are going to talk about the different types of the research. Actually, unfortunately, we didn't have the time to talk about each type of the researches, but you have already the slides or the PowerPoint, and you are more than welcome if you want to ask me something outside our lecture regarding what type of uh, researches or something like that uh, regarding the market research, just send me via 
the email and I'm going to uh, respond to you. Uh, يعني, feel free to do uh, that and actually I'm, I'm welcoming such kind of, uh, uh, of a thing, by the way. So actually, um, our last topic is going to be according to what criteria we could determine which type of market research we are going to use. Okay, so actually our topic for this time is going to be what are the criteria that according to it, we are going to say that this is, uh, we are going to use this market research or this uh, market research, this or that. And actually we have two ways in order to determine which kind of uh, market research we are going to use. We have what we say, relevant wheel, we are going to explain it, and we have the four Bs. You, we all know the four Bs, the product, the price, the place, and the promotion. And nowadays, it's not just uh, four Bs, it's seven Bs. And in some uh, uh, books, actually, it, it reached to eight Bs. But let's stick to the basics of the four Bs. So actually, we have two ways of determining what, which type of market research we are going to use, either the relevant way or the four Bs. And the final thing we are going to talk about that maybe most of you heard about it before, it's about the SWOT and the past what are they and how can we use it and what are the difference between them? I think this part, it's, it's really very important for you, actually because the people who are going to work in a graduation project in, the, in marketing, for example, actually this is one of the basic things that you ha they have to use. It. It's about the SWOT and the FAST and how can you analyze all the data that you have collected during your secondary data in order to reach the strengths, the weakness, the opportunity and the threats or to analyze the environment around you, the political, the economics, the social, the technology, the legal and the environmental things, or the SWOT, or uh, the gap analysis, okay? So uh, let's move to how to determine the type of the market research that we are going to depend on. As I was telling you before, that there are many types of market research that cover various areas of study. Whether you are interested in knowing the consumer buying behavior, how much they put in the new product, the market research is going to help you. So according to what I'm going to say, I'm going to use this market research other than this market research. The first thing that we are going to depend on, it is called the relevant wheel. What is the relevant wheel? The relevant wheels on dinner, how are that? Relevant wheel, actually he's talking about the different objectives. Is your objective is to create awareness? Is your objective is related to targeting? It's about the market, the consumer, the targeting, or the acquisition. By acquisition, we mean that we want to gain a new part of the market. We want to gain a new um, segment in the market. Like, for example, a signal is making a new product but with a new flavor. So actually, he's trying to gain a new segment. Uh, for example, um, Dior is going uh, to open a new line for the kids, for example. So actually, he's trying to acquisit, to gain a new market segment. This is what we mean by acquisition. This is in the language Retention, retention actually, it is related to like preserving, uh, keeping, uh, keeping the segment as it is. I'm not trying, I'm, I'm trying to keep. Uh, the, the segment as it is and I'm not trying to lose or to gain another thing like for example Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Chipsy they already have their own segments okay so actually all their um, like all their advertisement it's actually about the retention it's about keeping this segment as it is and trying as much as they can that they don't lose a part of their segment for the competitor so actually the relevant wheel it's about what it's about what is your target and according to your target we are going to tell you what kind of research you are going to use it. And as you can see inside this slide, we have what we say, the qualitative and the quantitative. Meaning what? That actually each part of these researches that we are going to talk about it, actually each part of them can be uh, conducted in a quantitative way or in a qualitative way. So actually, if we are talking about the awareness, to create awareness about a new product, a new service, uh, a new idea inside the society, Actually, most of the researches is related to what it is related to the media. It is related to the medium or the tool that you are going to use in order to create such kind of awareness. يبقى بنقول عندنا إذا كان الهدف عندنا هو creating awareness خل نوع من الوعي يبقى عادة كل الأبحاث لها علاقة بالtools الأدوات اللي هنستخدمها for the sake of creating awareness. فبتبقى advertising research, public relations researches, أو attitude researches in order to know. Uh, the attitude of the segment, of the target audience. If your objective is related to targeting, targeting means what? 
that I am targeting a part of the society. I'm trying to go to a part. Targeting اللي هو فكرة الاستهداف. معظم الدراسات اللي ليها علاقة عادة بالاستهداف بتبقى ليها علاقة بالconsumer أو بالmarket segmentation. فبتبقى either أبحث لي علاقة market segmentation اللي هو the segmentation means what dividing the market into different categories. Categories, each category, it's different from the other. This is what we mean by segment. Or the positioning. By positioning, we mean what, what is the unique attributes you want to be related to your uh, product. I'm targeting, for example, A++++. So I want them, whenever they are thinking about my new product, like Porsche, for example, in the cars brand, uh, Chanel in the perfume, I want them always to have something precious, something different, something unique inside this in their mind. This is what we mean by um, a position. So if your objective is related to the targeting, it's most commonly the parts of the researches that you are going to use, it's going to be market segmentation or positioning or uh, branding. If your uh, uh, option, uh, sorry, if your objective is retention, like keeping the people as it is, keeping the segment as it is, you don't want to increase the number of the segment. You don't want to target a new segment. You don't want to acquisit a new part of the segment. In this part, what can you depend on? Actually, you are going to make research on the customer as it is. Are they satisfied by my product? Do they have a loyalty toward my product? What about the communication? Does the communication that I'm using it inside my brand or inside my corporation, it's satisfying giving all the available information to my customer? The usability, does the usage of the product, it's easy for the consumer? Why all this kind, I'm trying to make the life of my consumer as smooth as possible, as easy as possible, as a way in order to keep them inside my segment, in order to be sure that my product as it is, it's actually satisfying my uh, consumers. Then we have the acquisition. The acquisition, it's about what? It's about gaining a new segment. It's about attracting a new people to my product. In this part, we have different types of research. Some of the researches is related to the concept testing. What we mean by concept testing? Concept testing means that I'm going to in, 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 introduce a new concept for the society. Like for example, uh, in, um, for example, uh, um, the new concept of the vegetarian lifestyle. This is the concept. According to this concept, I'm trying to acquisit, I'm trying to attract a new segment that actually is not satisfied. يعني هنا بنقول إيه؟ لو أنا بعمل consumer satisfaction يبقى البرودكت بتاعتي as it is I'm not going to change. طيب أنا بقى لو جيت قلت مثلا إن مثلا for example الناس اللي هم في السوشي مثلا هنلاقي إن مثلا موري سوشي في فترة من الفترات أو actually مش في فترة من الفترات actually lately قبل الحظ كان عامل في المنيو بتاعته حاجة اسمها vegan أو vegetarian. ال vegetarian دي معناها إيه؟ actually he's trying to uh, attract, to, um, uh, acquisit, try to gain a new segment of the society that is not actually satisfied up till now. فبعمل concept, a new concept that the sushi can be vegetarian. What? This is a new concept, so I'm trying to testing it. Our pricing research in order to see is the prices as it is, it is satisfying, or I should lower my prices in order to gain a new segment of the society. So this is what we mean by the relevant wheel. So the relevant wheel, it's actually different objective you want to achieve, and each objective is related to a type of a market research. So here actually, I'm actually explaining and describing what we mean by each part, the awareness, the targeting, and the acquisition, and finally the retention. What about the four Bs? As you know, the four Bs, it's about the marketing mix, the product, the price, the place, and the promotion. How can the four Bs help you in deciding which type of market research? As I was telling you before, we have actually two ways in order to determine which type of market research we are going to depend on. The first one, it's according to the relevant field, which we were talking about it uh, in brief. Uh, the other classification, it's actually according to the four Bs. What we mean by the four Bs? If your objective is related to improving your product or the service, so you actually have to make a research according to what your consumer really wants. So you have to make a research about the consumer wants and needs. 
you have to focus on the thing related to the function of the product, the appearance of the product, the, the customer service. So actually, he is just trying to classify the market research according to each B of the four Bs. If your objective is related to the product, so you have to know, does my product in this shape satisfy the needs and the wants of my consumer? Do I need to make some kind of a changes inside the appearance or the function of my product in order to gain the consumer out, in order to be sure that my product with the new improvement is going to satisfy the needs and the wants of my consumer? So this is the first D, the price. The price, it's about what? It's about setting a price based on the popular profit margin or competitive price. What do we mean by that? It means that if you want to set a price, فكرة إن إحنا نحط ال prices زي دي ما ما تبقاش موجودة عندنا في market research but for your own information we have different strategy in order to set the price either we set the price in order to achieve a profit margin يعني نحقق زي ما نقول إيه هامش رد أو بنحط ال price according to our competitors يعني ما ينفعش مثلا مرسيدس بي ام دبليو لو جينا قلنا ان هم كلهم في نفس الفئة ما ينفعش يبقى مثلا في الفئة دي عربية زي مرسيدس مثلا بيبقى البرايس بتاعها مثلا بنفس سعر عربيه هيونداي. It does make sense ليه؟ لانه بيحط جزء من السعر بتاعه بناء على الكومبيتيتور بتاعه اساسا هو حط السعر بتاعه ازاي. فهنا بنقول if your objective is related to the price you have to conduct all the researches it's related to the price to how to set the price. The the uh, before the last it's the placement او بنقولها البليس. البليس اللي هو معناه ايه؟ If your objective is related to decide where to set up your uh, product, how to distribute your product, which means you are going to make a research to compare the characteristics of a different location. يعني مثلا الناس اللي كانوا شغالين على mapping the food industry, for example, اللي كانوا شغالين على the mapping of the food industry, actually هما كانوا بيتكلموا على different outlet or different supermarkets. The supermarket دي بتقدم the product بتاعها. Actually, هم وقفوا عند مرحلة إن إحنا خلاص عملنا خلاص عملنا المابينج عملنا إيه الفود إندستري موجودة فين وعملنا زي سامبل من السوبر ماركت كانت المرحلة الجاية إن هم ينزلوا يشوفوا أساسا هي إيه البرودكتس اللي موجودة. فنتخيل مثلا if I am a new uh, food product I want to place my product inside a um, supermarket chain. Which one should I choose? مترو ولا uh, جورميه ولا سعودي ولا خير زمان ولا بيم؟ Which type? According to it, يبقى ده الهدف بتاعي، الهدف له علاقة بالplacement. يبقى I should make a mapping about the different location, what are the advantage, what are the disadvantage of each one of them, in order to know which type of location I'm going to. The last one, it's about the promotion. A promotion اللي هي ليها علاقة بإيه؟ What are the best medium or tools to reach your market segments? وعادة البروموشن بتبقى ريليتد للريسيرشز اللي ليها علاقه بالادفرتايزنج او الادفرتايزنج ريسيرش او الببليك ريليشن ريسيرش او السوشيال ميديا ريسيرش يعني مثلا ام نيو برودكت انسايد ذا ماركت اند اي وونت تو نو ويتش تايب اوف تشانل شود اي يوز تو ريتش ماي تارجت اودينس سو ات فيرست اي هاف تو نو هو از ماي تارجت اودينس ذيس از ذا فيرست بارت ذا سكند بارت اي هاف تو نو طب ذيس از تارجت اودينس اكوردنج تو ذير كرايتيريا اكوردنج تو ذير ميديا هابيتس ويتش تايب اوف تول Or which type of medium I'm going to use in order to reach these target audiences. Yeah, this is another classification that it's actually classifying the market research according to the four Bs. Each one of them is related to an objective, and each objective can be achieved through a type of a market research or different types of market research. So this is the second part. Our last part, or uh, the second part of our topic, it is related to the business analysis tools. اللي هي السوات والسوق والجاب والبستر دي معناها ايه؟ Actually business analysis techniques they are tools used to identify the needs and the solution in your business essentially it is rooting out the problem using optimal method, method to correct issues معناها ايه الكلام ده؟ كلكم بلا استثناء في البروجكت بتاعكم الطلب منكم ان انتم تجمعوا secondary data وقلت لكم بطريقه غير مباشره ميك اند اناليسيس فور ذيس سكندري ده ويزاوت جيفنج يو يعني ايه وات تايب اوف تولز يو شود يوز ات ان اوردر تو انالايز ذيس انفورميشن اند اكشلي موست اوف يو جاست يعني بريك ثرو يو يو جيف مي يعني ون اوف ذا موست بيرفكت اناليسيس ان ديفرنت اكشلي فيلدز يعني فاللي بنتكلم عليه هنا في البيزنس اناليسيس تكنيكس 
هي ليها علاقه ان احنا بعد ما بنجمع او السكندري داتا وبعد ما بنجمع كمان او الفيلد ستادي اللي هي يوزنج ذا كوانتيتيف او ذا كواليتيف تولز ان اوردر تو كولكت ذا داتا فروم انسايد اور ماركت اكشلي وي هاف تو كولكت اول اوف ذيس داتا اند وي هاف تو انالايز التولز دي بتقول لي بقى اعمل اناليسيس ازاي اوكي يعني ايه اعمل اناليسيس ازاي يعني في تولز بتبقى انسايد اوت وفي تولز بتبقى اوت يعني ايه انسايد اوت يعني السوب هو اكشلي اتس تراين تو اكزامين ذا بزنس فروم انسايد يعني مثلا لما جينا اتكلمنا حوالين الميديا سيرفيس بروفايدر يو ور اكشلي انالايزينج ايتش ميديا سيرفيس بروفايدر يو ور توكينج اباوت وات تايب اوف برودكشن وات تايب اوف مثلا uh, مثلا نقول انسنتفز دي ار يوزينج ات So actually, you are actually analyzing from within the business itself, as if, as if you are working inside Netflix, and you are trying to see: Is my Netflix working good? Is it facing a competitor? What is the competitor giving above me? What is his unique point? How can I overcome this unique point? So. The SWOT analysis is one of the business techniques tools. يعني بعد ما بنجمع الداتا دي ببقى عايز اشوف يا ترى المؤسسه بتاعتي يا ترى البيزنس بتاعي يا ترى البرودكت بتاعي من جوه شكله ايه؟ ايه السترنث بتاعته؟ ايه الويكنس بتاعته؟ ايه الاوبورتيونيتي بتاعته؟ وايه الثريتس اللي بيواجهها؟ ليه؟ عشان تو ايدنتيفاي ماي سترنث اند بوست ات اند تراي تو مينيمايز ماي ويكنسز Optimizing or taking advantage of every opportunity in in front of me, and finally acknowledging the threats and trying as much as as I can to neutralize such kind of threat. If a SWOT analysis, it is one of the business techniques that actually, according to the data we have already collected from inside our so uh, from inside our business, in order to know. It's what it stands for: strengths, weakness, opportunity, and threats. In order to identify the strengths, minimize the weakness, optimize or take advantage of the opportunities, and finally acknowledge and try to neutralize the threats that I am facing. The shakl el adam ko the shakl el strengths. El strengths tu ba abar an e. What are my advantage? خلي بالنا دايما ال strengths وال weakness بتبقى حاجات ليها علاقة بيا أنا، حاجة ليها علاقة بال organization نفسها بتاعتي، حاجة under my control، فعشان كده بنقول في ال strengths هي ال advantage بتاعت ال company بتاعتي over the competitor. Uh, uh, مثلا Netflix بتقدم content كتير، بتقدم مثلا حاجات في ال في ال rating مثلا من أول 5 plus لغاية 18 plus. مقارنة مثلا ب HPO HPO مثلا دايما بتقدم 18 بلس which make which mean ان في رينج مثلا لو كانت هي ما بتقدمش حاجات ليها علاقه بالشيب بس اكشن ما بيقدموا حاجات ليها علاقه بالشيب بس if يبقى ده معناه ان في جزء من الجمهور actually he is not a part of the target audience مثلا for example for HPO يبقى strengths معناه ايه what are my advantage مثلا for example في براندز مثلا زي زي ما دايما بقول لكم عشان تعرفين ان انا دايما بحب القهوه ان مثلا في براندز دي اكشلي اوفر ا فيجن اوبشنز لايك المن ميلك او حاجه زي كده زي مثلا ستاربكس او تي بي اس او فينوس فينوس اي ثينك اوكي سو اكشلي ذيس از ون اوف ذا ادفانتج اوف ماي كومباني اوفر ذا كومباتيز مثلا اوفر مثلا سيلانتر سيلانتر دوزنت اوفر ذا سيم كايند اوف ادفانتج Strengths means what the advantage of my company over the competitors. What about the weakness? The weakness are the areas that needs to be improved. يعني مثلاً for example, هنقول مثلاً إن Starbucks despite the fact إن عنده strengths واضحة بس انتشاره مش نفس انتشار مثلاً محلات كافية تانية. فده معناه إن دي it's kind of weakness. But as I'm telling you, the strengths and the weakness it's something related to your A company. It's under the direct control of the company. On the other side, actually, opportunities and threats are not under the control of the company. It's from outside our company. The opportunities they are able trends in market gaps in how to take advantage of. In opportunity land, for example, the only one that has to drive through is McDonald's and Starbucks. Meshi. فدي اتس نيو اوبورتيونتي ان هو الوحيد اللي موجود على الشارع كل المحلات الثانيه بتبقى موجوده جوه حتت معينه تقريبا اكسبت اي ثينك سلامتو اي ثينك سلامتو هو اللي فاتح حتى مش فاتحه از درايف ثرو التجمع الخامس هو فاتحه جوه 
محطه بنزين هي تقريبا عند المستشفى الجوي فتحوا جوه محطه بنزين طبعا عشان انتوا عارفين ان انا مجنون قوي فانا اكشلي ببقى بلف ورا محلات القهوه بس اني واي الاوبورتيونتي عندنا اللي هي الترندز اللي هو سيكينج سمثينج نيو اوكي طيب ايه هي الترندز؟ اتس اكشلي ان اكسترنال فاكتورز ذات كان ثريتن ماي بزنس بس اتس نوت اندر ماي كنترول بس ام تراينج ام تراينج تو نيوترلايز ات از ماتش از اي كان زي مثلا ما نيجي نقول ان كوفيد 19 كوفيد 19 اكشلي اتس بليسينج ا لوت اوف ثريتس ان فرونت اوف افري بزنس يعني inside Egypt, outside Egypt, in every place of the world. So actually, it's a threat, and the يعني زي ما نقول إيه. The brilliance is how to use such kind of threat for your own sake. How can you make the most benefit of it? How can you use it and it and turn it into an opportunity for you, not as a threat? يبقى بنقول عندنا إيه. The SWOT it stands for strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats. My goal is to identify these factors and consider them, all of them together, in order to know this is my strength, this is my weakness, this is my opportunity, this is my threat. According to this market research, I can put my plan, I can plan for my campaign, I can plan for uh, the launching of a new product. So this is what we mean by SWOT. SWOT, it's actually similar to SWOT, but it's something new that some people say it's not about threats, it's about challenges. So actually, the S stand for strengths, that is strengths for weaknesses, O stand for opportunity. And the only thing that was a change, it was the T. They changed the T into the C to be challenges. The difference that challenges is like an obstacle standing in your way of your business. Challenges can appear to be negative if it was left unchecked. But when we acknowledge them, we can overcome them. يعني بنقول ان السوات دي هي مجرد ان هو كلمه ثريتس كانت فيها النيجاتيفيتي فيها عاليه قوي وتابير از اف يو كانوت اوفركم ات ففي ناس جم قالوا واي نوت وي ديفلوب ذس تو تيرن ات فروم سوات تو سوات اند تو تشينج اونلي ذا تي اوف ذا ثريت تو بي تشالنج واي بيكوز تشالنج مين ذات اي كان اوفركم ذس تشالنج بس ثريت مينلي مينز ذات ات از ريلي هارد تو اوفركم اوكي فهي كانت حاجه ليها علاقه بسايكولوجيكال فهي سواك هي سواك بس هم مجرد شالوا تي حطوا سي وغيروا كلمه ثريت حطوها تشالنجز عشان كلمه ثريت اتس ا ليتل بيت نيجاتيف ذان ذان كلمه تشالنجز بس الفكره ان تشالنجز از لايك ان اوبستيكل ذان يو كان اوفر كام اوكي ذيس از وات وي مين باي سواك وات اباوت باستيف باستيف ايتش لتر ستاند فور سمثينج ذا بي ستاند فور بوليتيكال ذا اي ستاند فور ايكونوميك الاس ستاند فور سوشيال التي ستاند فور تكنولوجيكال The E stands for environmental, and finally the last L stands for legal. Okay, what does it mean actually? The pastel it's the contrary to the SWOT. As we said, the SWOT it's about inside outside. يعني إيه؟ I'm actually analyzing my own environment. I'm actually analyzing my own business. But this uh, the pastel it's actually outside in. It's it's trying to analyze the زي ما نقول إيه. The environment that surround your project, this the environment that surround your, they um, all your business that actually can hinder or can create a lot of obstacles. يعني ما أنا صح. The best هي بس بتركز على الجزء بتاع threats. Okay. زي ما قلنا. The SWOT من جوا. بتشوف إيه هي the strengths and weakness اللي تحت سيطرة. وبتشوف ايه هي الاوبورتيونتي اللي موجوده في السوق اللي ممكن استغلها وايه هي الترتس اللي ممكن تواجهني او التشالنج العكس بقى الباستل بتركز على ايه؟ الباستل اكشلي هي بتركز على فكره البيئه اللي حواليا بتحاول تقسم البيئه اللي حوالينا لعناصر مختلفه كل عنصر من العناصر دي اكشلي It is related to how it can affect in a good way or in a bad way. خلي بالنا. يعني it can be an opportunity and it can be a threat. إزاي بتهددنا؟ The political اللي ليها علاقة مثلاً بالgovernment. زي مثلاً في 2011. في 2011 حالة the unrest with Arab Spring اللي كانت موجودة عملت نوع من the challenges, a new challenges, but it was with a political flavor, a political taste. كانت ليها علاقة بحاجات سياسية. خلت في مشكلة عندنا في the marketing بتاع many brands, especially international brands and Actually, the Egyptian brand was the most one was suffering from uh, such kind of unrest and the um, revolution. In economics, it's, it, it's related to the uh, fluctuations. The fluctuations, for example, 
مثلا لما جينا قلنا هنعوم الجنيه في اسعار ضربت في السماء actually cannot control it this is actually was one of the economic decision that actually harm a lot of business until we overcome such kind of a challenge the S in here stands for society or sociological like changes in the society or in the communication like um, imagine that you are in the late of the 90s or uh, mid 90s and actually the internet is a new medium that has been introduced inside your society which need you to change all your marketing to be online زي مثلا هنيجي نقول التوحيد والنور مثلا يعني دلوقتي مثلا one of the new ways that actually it is related to us ان حصل عندي change في the society ان كل الناس بقت تشتغل دلوقتي بتعمل buying online زي الناس اللي كانت شغاله حوالين a comparative analysis بتاعت ال buying online versus the offline buying وابتدوا يقولوا ان actually ال covid it's a, it's a new opportunity for everything that's opening uh, online and actually a lot of offline uh, portals are actually trying to change their buying in order not to lose on the online يعني بيحاولوا ان هم to overcome the loss اللي بتكسر من الاوفلاين ان هم يحولوا نفسيهم uh, online زي زارا uh, زي اتش اند ام معظمهم بقى ممكن دلوقتي في الوضع اللي احنا فيه معظم الانتاج بتاعهم او معظم الحاجات بتاعتهم اكشلي بتنجح اكتر ان هم بيبيعوا اونلاين مش اوفلاين التكنولوجي اللي ليها علاقه بالادفانسمنت ان تكنولوجي وات وي مين باي ادفانسمنت ان تكنولوجي ادفانسمنت ان تكنولوجي ان دلوقتي اكشلي الموبايل اكشلي ات از سمثينج ذات يو كان ديبند اون يو دونت نيد ا لابتوب يعني قبل كده كنت محتاجه تبقى عندك موبايل وعندك لابتوب لكن دلوقتي انت ممكن تعملي كل حاجه عن طريق اللابتوب اوكي فبنقول دي دي التكنولوجيكال الانفايرمنت اللي ليها علاقه مثلا بالجلوبال وورمنج يعني من الحاجات اللي كانت لافته للانتباه ان في كان في ناس في الصين بيقولوا ان اكشلي ديو تو كوفيد 19 الجلوبال وورمنج ابتدى يقل ليه؟ لان اكشلي بيقولوا في الصين ات از ذا فيرست تايم ان ذا لايف لايك سم اوف ذا اوف ذا يوث اكشلي بيقول اول مره في حياتهم يشوفوا كلير سكاي فدي حاجه ليها علاقه بانفايرمنت دلوقتي بقى في a lot of environment calls زي فكره البلاستيك اللي هو ريديوس ذا يوز ذا يوسج اوف ذا بلاستيك دلوقتي لدرجه ان بقت العديد من عندنا من المصانع الريستوران الحاجات دي كلها بتغير فكره الشاليمو والكوبايات والحاجات دي من البلاستيك بتحولها لذل بتحولها لحاجات ثانيه المطاط مثلا ان اوردر تو اوفر كام بقت في محلات كثيره سوبر ماركت كثيره بتحاول ان هي في الفتره دي بدل ما تعتمد على فكره اكياس البلاستيك بتعتمد على اكياس القماش يبقى دي اكشلي اتس انفايرمنت واخر حاجه بتبقى عليها علاقه بالليجل اللي هو انيو legislation مثلا to be introduced inside our society كل دي عباره عن ايه؟ it's outside sources it's outside forces that actually can affect your business either in a good way or in a bad way in order to know what type of sources that affect you and how can they affect you we have to conduct the fast يبقى احنا بنقول uh, relating to the business analysis tools or techniques we have different business tools and techniques we can use it in order to analyze our environment either we analyze our business from the inside the business from the inside اللي هي ليها علاقه بايه the business from the inside اللي هي مثلا ليها علاقه بالسوات او السوق او either to analyze the outside sources اللي هي related لايه اللي هي related عندنا بالحاجات اللي ليها علاقه بي البوليتكس بالايكونومي بالسوسيولوجيكال بالتكنولوجيكال بالانفايرمنتال وبي الليجل فاكتورز اوكي طيب امم وات اباوت الجاب اناليسس اكشلي ذا لاست ثينج وي ار جوينج تو توك اباوت ات اتس اباوت ذا جاب اناليسس وي ار نوت جوينج تو توك اباوت ذا كومباريزن بين ذا جاب فيرسس ذا سوات اكشلي ذا لاست ثينج از جوينج تو بي ذا جاب اناليسس اكشلي ذا جاب اناليسس اتس وان اوف ذا اناليسس ذات ذا كومباني دو ان اوردر تو كومبير جاب معناها ايه Actually, gap. Uh, each letter doesn't stand for thing. It means gap. زي اللي هو تحليل الفجوة. يعني إيه فكرة فجوة؟ يعني زي ما نقول كده حفا. A hole. A hole between two things. As if we are making a comparison. So actually, the gap it's a kind of comparison between what? What is my actual performance? What is my potential? What I seek to achieve? And how can I overcome this gap in order to achieve my objective? You attain. The gap analysis it's about a comparison between the actual performance and the potential performance. It's about what? It's about determining what are the factors that define this current situation, and list out and put down list all the factors that you wanted or you needed in order to reach your potential. If the gap analysis it's about what? It's about understanding. Is your uh, company performing their best performance in order to reach their perfect thing, our perfect uh, target, our perfect objective, 
or not. So, بنتكلم عندنا هنا في الجاب analysis it's a type of the market techniques that it is used for the companies in order to first of all identify where is the gap. Where is the gap? What we mean by gap? A gap is about a comparison between actual performance, what I'm doing now, and what is my target. In order to identify what are the factors that contribute to my actual performance, what are the factors that actually contribute to what I'm doing now, and what are the factors that I needed to be found in order to reach my target, and why doesn't I reach my target? So actually, it's a way of understanding what are the weakness and how can I overcome the weakness in order to change this weakness into strengths. Okay, this is this is what we mean by gap analysis. The gap analysis is what we mean by gap analysis. The idea is that I want to see the comparison between two. اللي قبل واللي بعد اللي قبل اللي هو الوضع الحالي اللي هو الستيتس كو اللي بعد اللي هو ماي اوبجيكتيف زي مثلا دلوقتي انت بتاخدي مثلا اي ماينس انا عايزه اوصل لاي بلس طيب ايه اللي بيخليني اعمل اي ماينس بعمل 1 2 3 4 طب انا عشان اوصل للاي بلس محتاجه 1 2 3 4 5 محتاجه خمس نقط انا بحقق منهم ثلاثه يبقى انا محتاجه نقطتين النقطتين دول لو حققتهم يبقى انا هوصل ليه ده اسمه الجاب اناليسيس يبقى الجاب اناليسيس ليه علاقه بايه الوضع الحالي اللي انا موجوده فيه ايه العناصر اللي بتساهم في الوضع الحالي طب الوضع اللي انا نفسي احققه ازاي اعرف اوصل له ولما اعرف اوصل له اساسا هوصل له ازاي يعني ممكن اقدر اوصل له ازاي وايه العوامل اللي انا محتاجاها عشان اعرف اوصل باي ذس اللي هي فكره الجاب اناليسيس اكشلي وي هاف فينيش يعني ننبسط كلنا مع بعض اكشلي يبقى اور لاست سلايد از جوينج تو بي 1 2 4 يبقى 124 It's our last slide in this uh, lecture, in this uh, subject. Uh, next week, inshallah, bismillah, I'm going to send you like a revision on the 124 slide that we were talking about it, about the main topics we talk about it. Um, up till now, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. But I'm going to uh, let you know with every update, every update I'm getting from the faculty. I'm going to keep you updated about what we are going to do regarding our uh, final exam or final uh, project. Uh, again, thank you so much uh, for being a student inside this lecture. I was really honored to teach you uh, during this term. And I hope, inshallah, bismillah, to see you uh, next uh, term, inshallah, bismillah. Uh, thank you so much. And if you have any kind of uh, question, um, just feel free to contact me via my uh, email. Thank you so much and hope uh, to see you next term, inshallah, bismillah. Kursan Taibin, Ramadan Karim, alaykum,